based on invention, a six-story tall rock star, and a toaster that cooks. You're noticing now that as I move and pull my T-bar, I can entirely create a live effect. These and more stories coming up on Invention. As the lights come on in the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History, we're happy to say this is Invention. I'm Lucky Severson. Welcome. Let's talk about toasters. We're not here to argue that the light bulb was not an important invention, but surely the pop-up toaster was right behind it. Now let's talk about the future. What about a digital toaster? There is one. There's even a new invention called a video toaster. So will it make video toast or will it toast the video? Toast the video. The video. <laughs> What it's meant to do is to allow, uh, in a desktop environment, people to have access to a lot of the tools, a lot of the grammar, as it were, of, of video. Had to have deep pockets for big budgets. The video toaster may be the hottest thing since sliced bread. It's meant a lot for just plain folks who want to stay up late and use a toaster to heat up their video production. <laughs> Even schools can afford them. Hopkins High in Minnesota bought a toaster for their students' cable news productions for less than $5,000. We've got the paint box, we've got the character generator, we've got the switcher. A lot of different effects we would have never had without it. Bob Clark uh, used to so service swimming pools. Now he has a new career on the toaster as a video artist. Uh, that's a gyroder. It's a gear that fits inside of a hydraulic pump. And I use the video toaster to create an animation of this logo for Eaton Corporation. Video has gone digital in the past decade, making possible extravagant effects and whiz-bang animation, all generated in edit rooms crammed with black boxes costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, what the toaster is, is basically an Amiga home computer with a few very special chips, half a million or so lines of programming code, and a mouse. At big-time broadcasting conventions, you will find people who have invested millions of dollars in equipment. People who would be quite naturally skeptical of something called a video toaster. The thing that always bothered me about a lot of these people went, Oh, well, the video toaster doesn't do this, and the video toaster doesn't do that, and it doesn't do this, and it doesn't do that. I'll tell you one thing it doesn't do. It doesn't cost a hell of a lot of money. Alex Bennett, the popular San Francisco radio host, uses the toaster to make his sideline videos hum and zing. He lives just up the bay from Silicon Valley, hothouse of the digital revolution. But Silicon Valley is not home to the toaster. It was created in Topeka, Kansas. Topeka? Yeah. It's in the middle, in the middle of nowhere, someone once said, but you can see it from there. The company is called New Tech, smack dab in America's heartland. It's not the sort of place where one will find your average Topekan. Tim Jensen founded the company, then he brought in a partner, business wizard Paul Montgomery. Working at New Tech is like being a kid again. Running down the company hallway, track lighting, robot track lighting, designed by Jensen. And at the end of the hall, a video game room with all the latest games, all free. So that's the division of labor. You, you go for the killing, I go for the money. Right. There we go. Uh -oh. About the only non-digital item visible on the premises, an espresso machine. You want a cup? Yep. New Tech was started by Jensen in 1985. 
in his garage, of course. This after he'd been struck by a vision of how video effects, inexpensive video effects, might be created. I was uh, driving down a freeway with my wife in California, and uh, it hit me this dirty trick that would make this thing work. And it really is what we call a hack. It's something that shouldn't work, but does. I quickly uh, grabbed a piece of paper and scribbled it down. I still have it in my, uh, in my file. But uh, most, most good ideas actually come to me in the bathtub. Tim can now afford a big hot tub to dream in. Success has all but swamped the little Topeka company. They won't reveal total toasters sold, except to say tens of thousands. Enough, anyway, to afford matching sports cars. Enough to afford a real New York public relations agency. You know, Peter, um, this is the first time in five years that we've, uh, as you know, thought about using a PR firm, so it's, uh, it's a big step for us. To me, it's not just uh, another account. And enough to afford a new corporate jet. A few things remain from the garage days. The weekly get-together when programmers ascend from their caves to watch Star Trek. Many an inventor has learned that great ideas can only fly with aggressive marketing. And in that regard, New Tech was fortunate. And you're noticing now that as I move and pull my T-bar, I can entirely create a live effect. So I One of the first people they hired was Kiki Stockhammer a dental technician turned corporate celebrity. Ms. Ironpants, they called her affectionately, for her ability to sit for hours looping product pitches at conventioneers. And of course, we also have the quintessential raining sheep effect. Kiki has become so much a part of the toaster and new tech, she started referring to herself in the third person. Kiki uh, will grow and expand along with the company and you'll see her in a lot of interesting places that you might not expect to see her. Uh, you know, spontaneity is what I like. <laughs> so we'll probably just go with the flow. And there's a mighty flow of video being toasted together. The, the quality of the video that we're, we're seeing is pretty amazing. We got a, a bar mitzvah tape in and he used every toaster effect, but it, it really had some, a charm to it. In, in one scene, he beamed in all the people, in one of our effects, he beamed in the entire church into the, into the temple, and it, it was an amazing shot. Critics of television complained loud and often that the tube is filled with trash and flash and little content. Now that the toaster is bringing endless possibilities to the masses, will we start seeing more art on the tube? You'll get more trash and more art. You'll just get more television. And that's what's cool about it because, you know, if there's a Steven Spielberg uh, of the future, 12 years old, sitting in his bedroom, uh, now that same 12-year-old kid has access to all the tools uh, that a, a real producer has. So, in a way, it's sort of enabling a lot more Spielbergs to happen. A little tidbit we picked up along the way. They called it a video toaster knowing that it had nothing to do with toast. They were simply trying to throw us off the track of what they were really up to.